Hey guys, Tracklin here on the Mistweaver Monk. I just tested a few new macros to make sure they still work for the update. So I thought I'd post them for you. I have a link down below if you want to copy and paste the macros. They'll go straight to the webpage and you can just, you know, copy and paste them from there. Or if you have the impulse add-on, you can come up here, click impulse, and yeah, just choose the modifier and they'll go straight to your hotbar. Or go to the access tab and sift through all their macros and they'll go straight to your macro tab. Also, I have a link down below to all my add-ons. Everyone always asks, so yeah, all the add-ons and macros, you can just check the description. You'll see everything down below, guys. So the first macro I tested today was a Vivify mouse over macro, which looks like this. Yeah, it looks complicated, but it's really not. I'll show you exactly how to use it if you want to. And if you want to put in a different spell in this, you can just switch out the spell name here and you know put whatever you want in there. So the first thing it can do is if you just have a single target, no mouse over or anything, it'll always go on your single target just like this. Or let's say you want to heal this guy while keeping your current target, you can just simply mouse over them and it'll go on your mouse over just like that instead of your current target. And you don't need a single target or anything like that. You can just simply mouse over people and cast your vivify on them. And of course, if you have no mouse over or no single target, it'll always go on you. Just like that. So it's a really nice macro and you can, like I said before, just switch out the spell name for whatever you want and yeah, start using it. Next up is a focus of fuse macro, which looks like this. Slash cast bracket target equals focus exists, no dead, a fuse. And if you want to switch out this one, you can just leave that semicolon in between. Switch out the spell here and here and you're good to go. So the, how this works is if you just have a single target, no focus target at all. And you cast it, it'll always go on your single target, just like this. But let's say this uh, orc current right here is on my focus. And my focus right here is right here on this UI. So you see me switching it, it'll, that's my focus right there. So let's say she's on my focus. Now that I do have a focus, this macro will make it so a fuse always goes on my focus like this. Let's switch focus, it'll go on her. Switch focus, it'll go on him. So it's a really nice way to, you know, set up a lot of your spells to, or your uh, CCs and other damaging abilities to go off on your focus target real quick. And if you want to get your focus on and off quicker, I have a macro for that too. Uh, this one right here. And this will be in, on the web page too. I'll make sure it's on there. So how this works is if you just have a... Um, well, the first way it works is you can just mouse over people. Click it once, it'll go on them. Click it a second time, it'll take them off. So let's say I want to make this person my focus. But then I want to switch to him right there. Click it once, it'll take off your current focus. Click it a second time, it'll go on your mouse over focus, just like that. Or let's say this guy's my single target. Just like any other mouse over, you can just simply mouse over them and I'll put them on your focus just like that. And also, you don't need a mouse over anyone to take it off. You can just go like this. I'll take whoever you want. Yeah, it's uh, really hard to explain. If you can just you can just check it out and you know play around with it, see if you like it. Next macro I tested was a simple stop casting macro for my roll, and simply st slash stop casting slash cast roll. In some updates, you might have to put a second stop casting in there. It just depends, but yeah, right now you just need one. And it works good for at least for roll, it does. So how this works is a lot of times when people are casting something, like a, um, a fuse or something like that, what they usually do is they'll cast it, and then to get something else off, they'll jump, or they'll start running or something like that. And that's not very efficient because you lose a lot of animation time. So this type of micro will automatically stop casting and do roll at the same time. So this is what a normal... Um, non macro it looks like that's on my A key. So if I just click it, hit A, it'll wait for the fuse to stop and then roll. But with the macro, it'll automatically stop it and do roll at the same time. So this is with the macro. One button click does it all. So you won't lose animation time or anything like that. And yeah, it's working right now. At least this macro is working right now for the update. And the last macro today is a modifier macro for my detox and my renewing mist. And slash cast bracket modifier alt detox semicolon renewing mist. And if you want to, if you're not familiar with modifier macros, you can switch out the alt right here. 
for something like shift or control if that's easier for you. And what you put before the semicolon is what you're modifying. So here's the macro on my uh, D key. As you can see, if I just hit it right now, it'll be my renewing miss. If I hold down Alt and hit D, it'll be my uh, detox. So renewing miss, hold down Alt, hit D, and detox. So this is pretty nice because you know you can save on interface space if you want uh, by modifying a lot of your macros or a lot of your spells and abilities and talents and all that. And also, let's say you're really good with the D key and keys around the D. Well, you can just you know modify all those keys and not have to worry about key binds you're not good with. So yeah, it's a really nice way to cut off in space and become more efficient with your key binds. So yeah, that's the last macro I made today on the Mistweaver Monk. If you guys want to see more macros for the Mistweaver Monk, just drop a like on the video and I'll know you enjoyed it and I'll make more for you guys. Have a good one.